Hey, it's me. No, that's ugly. Hey, it's me. Well, anyway, today is episode three of Create This Book 2. Too many numbers. Okay, so the cover. It's obviously meant to be, you know, decorated. Decorate me. And I've yet to do that. I was gonna hold off a bit longer to do the cover, but then I noticed... It's getting a little dirty, so I just want to go ahead and color it now before this gets worse. There is this page with tips and tricks for decorating the cover, and I already went over all of that in episode one, but since acrylic paint is on the yay list for materials, that includes paint pens. I'm definitely gonna use these. Okay, so now to come up with a design. I want to do something bold and colorful, but also well -planned. It has to be like fun and cool, or like a cat or a puppy. I'm gonna have to look at this for like three years, so it's gotta be good. Yeah, since I really I don't have that much space, and this is do I really so want to nail down to the channel? What is this? I think I was overthinking the cover design. So I printed out an image of the blank cover, you know, just with my printer folded that in half, got my pens, and just started doodling and trying to experiment with how I wanted the cover to look. You know, if you're working on your own Create This Book, this is definitely something you can try at home. Just print out an image from, you know, the Google. This way you can try out some different ways of coloring it without having to commit right away. You know, it's, it's, it's like dating and sometimes there are breakups, broken hearts, failures, mental breakdowns, and then you find find that one special one and you realize I mean it's not perfect but I think I can fix it so now that I've practiced a little bit I'm gonna sketch out my design which you can't really see but it's there I was actually kind of nervous about the cover because it's the cover and everyone knows it's what's on the outside that counts wait I really wanted to still be able to read all of the information on it because I feel like a lot of times new people who just like waltz into these videos with no background information are like confused. Wait, did you actually write this book or is this, it, it, did you, I, I don't get it. I do understand why it's confusing. So I figured it would be helpful to keep all the information on the cover visible so you can read it and it's like, bam, it's all right there, you know? But yes, I did go with rainbow because at this point, I mean, that's kind of like my signature thing, I guess. <clears throat> These paint pens worked just perfectly on the cover, but I will warn you, if you use these on the cover, keep in mind that because it does have like a kind of protective coating on it, they will take longer to dry. I did go over that blue with a darker blue because it was too close to the green. For the top half, I decided to add some little stars. I just thought, you know, it looked cute. That one's a little whack. The rest are okay, but I think I might have gone overboard slightly lightly. I just kept adding them. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> and then I added some white stars on the bottom to bring in some more detail down there. What do you mean by down there? I could not decide what color I wanted to make the paintbrush. Maybe that's why I'm so obsessed with rainbow because I'm indecisive. I, I can't choose just one color. I, I have to choose all of them. I'm going in for touch-ups with my black pencil to make sure that all of those edges are nice and sharp. Now about this black outline that is currently uh, ghosting. I wanna bring that back, but in metallic. Fancy it up a bit. Make sure it's dry. Yeah, that'll do it. And the other side, and whoa, going freehand suddenly. <laughs> Don't mess up. And I added a silver outline to the, you know, this weird box thing, just to make sure that it stands out, give it a nice pop. And that's the cover. This would definitely get demolished if I leave it naked like this. So to protect it, that's out of focus. There. I'm using some regular old packing tape, which I wasn't worried about at all. Any day now. Okay, but this is really gonna help keep the cover durable and I can easily clean it off if it gets dirty So it keeps the design underneath nice and fresh It is kind of annoying because there are sometimes air bubbles which you can use a pin to pop 
top them and flatten them out a little bit, but you can still kind of see them. Everyone has blemishes. If you really hate the taped look, you can use Mod Podge, but that's definitely not going to be as durable. I just don't want to have to worry about keeping this cover pristine for the next however long it takes me to finish this. Here is my finished front cover, but oh, the back. So I'm gonna start on the spine and just carry the whole design from the front onto the spine. So it's just like one continuous thing and then carry that onto the back. That rainbow can travel, man. It's like the rainbow that never ends. Where will it go next? Take me with you. It's beautiful. Again, I have to color around all of these pesky words. Also, I didn't film this on the front cover, but I did apply two coats of paint pen, I don't know, to get that really bold, even color. Otherwise, you end up with this kind of streaky nonsense and nobody likes that. Here's where I decide to just kill off that magnifying glass. We don't want you anymore. That may have been a mistake, but mm, too late. I added in some metallic accents, even though it's just the back cover, you know. Everyone has a right to be fancy. And of course, the little stars. Twinkle. now I'm adding the tape around the spine and onto the back. It's kind of cool because it almost makes it look like the cover was just printed with this design and it's just like a real glossy book cover. I'm a real cover. Uh. I'm sorry. And to complete the outside, of course I have to color those edges. So I chose some markers to match each of the colors of paint of paint pen that I used roughly. Here we go. What's on my finger? What is that? I didn't want to use my Posca pens on the edges because I don't want to wear out the tips scraping across the pages like that. I was trying to line up the stripes with the cover design, but you know, miscalculated there a little bit. Coloring the edges is something I always do right away before I've done anything inside the book, but I've been putting the edges off because I hadn't come up with a cover design yet so I waited and now there are already pages sticking out and uneven so this was the struggle and here's the final design I'm very happy with it I actually like it a lot more than I thought I would and I think the edges actually look pretty cool following the stripes even with the little stars so cute and I don't know I just think it's a real nice bold design and actually I like the back just as much as I like the front which is surprising because I didn't even really plan out the back it just kind of happened. Okay, now let's actually get into the book. I choose this page. The directions are simple. Create drips. So I started sketching out my idea. You know what? No, this isn't working for me. New plan. I dug up a box of crayons, picked my lucky participant, and what? I'm just tracing the crayon and using it to draw a line of crayons until I realize that's stupid. It would be easier to just... <laughs> use a ruler. So yeah, I made a big long row of crayons. You know that crayon melting thing where you glue a bunch of crayons to the top of a canvas and then blow dry them and they melt and they go all drippy? It was a big trend a few years ago. I'm drawing that. The drips were really fun to draw, but the crayons... Ugh. <laughs> and this was like the most repetitive drawing I've done in a long time. So there's the drawing with some jacked up crayons. Yikes. But oh well. I chose 27 different colors. Now is the fun part. A tasket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. Not that. Okay, and it's finally time to start coloring. I'm using colored pencils to color crayons. Why don't you just use crayons? Because I hate crayons. I just, I prefer using colored pencils to crayons. I never use crayons unless I have to, so I feel no obligation to use crayons even though I'm drawing them. Coloring these in did help these crayons out quite a lot. Some of them were looking real messed up, especially in that yellow area. Wow. So the color and the little black details kind of helped to distract from their terribleness a little. Okay, and now here's the really fun part. Part, adding all the dripping color. Obviously, I couldn't do the real thing and melt actual crowns. <laughs> 
crayons. Yes, I was one of those people who always said crayons. It's still a habit that I'm trying to break. I can't melt actual crayons on this page because that would make the book all kinds of lumpy and very annoying to use, but I actually kind of prefer the drawing to the real thing. I did try crayon melting back in the day. It, it usually ended up looking like some doo-doo on a piece of paper. Like a big muddy mess. I would show you, but they have since been destroyed. This is much better. I am trying to use the shading to make it look kind of lumpy like melted wax i don't know if it looks accurate or if it just looks splotchy but that's what i was going for oh by the way i got a lot of people asking me why i don't fill out the book in order the order doesn't really matter and i would rather just like go through and find prompts that i feel like doing in the moment or that i have ideas for instead of going in order and like forcing myself to do whatever is next and now i'm adding a bunch of little white highlights to bring it alive and give it that wet kind of glossy look finally sign it and date it and here is the final page i'm very pleased with this i'm sorry that you guys didn't get a break from rainbow this episode because everything i did was rainbow next episode i'll give it a rest maybe i really wanted to do one more page for this episode but i ran out of time because i spent way too long on the cover so i had to stop here in order to have enough time to edit the video i do want to feature some artwork that i've received from you guys these two pages are from Kinsey. Oh my gosh, her art looks so good. And these pages are from Josephine, who's working on her first Create This Book. I gotta say, this page is my favorite of hers. It's so nice looking. Even if you weren't featured in this video, if you've sent me photos of your Create This Book, thank you. I love seeing them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next Friday. Bye!